it's running. <laughs> That's awesome. What's up, YouTube? So I bought this fish tank. It came with rocks and a plant and a top and an LED at the top with a power cord. Then I had these LEDs lying around from my bar top build. So I went ahead and I lined them up. It's extremely hard to do the turns. As you can see, they're, they're a little up. I did, it doesn't need to be perfect because I'm gonna line it with rocks. Wow. <laughs> do you see that? Look how bright that is. Pretty nice. I might also wanna clean this while I have it out. So I am going to give this a try, just to clean this plastic a little bit. You can't really see it, but it's definitely got some smudges on there. Once you add the mineral oil, or, you know, hopefully you add mineral oil, but if it was an aquarium as well, once there's water in there, it definitely um, makes it look cleaner. Okay. And I'm going to use this as the front because uh, I looked at the two sides and that one's by far the better side. Because I wanted to. Uh... So we got a brand new pie and a brand new power outlet. And I'm gonna put the heat sinks on this one just because why not? I've plenty of heat sinks to go around. So there we go. So got a copper one on the back, and then two on the front. So I think I'm gonna do it like this because I still don't wanna see the cords hanging out. I think looking at the GPIO pins and being able to see the fan is gonna be a cool little look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of fish line. And fish line is fairly transparent. So a lot of you are wondering, like, Drew, why are you going to put a fan when it's going to be submerged in oil? Well, you're right. It's absolutely there just for cosmetics, but I have one, and I thought it would look cool, and so I'm doing it. And just like that, with a little bit of hot glue, you're in business. Pretty fast drawing, actually. All right, we're in biz. We're gonna go lights on the bottom. Boom. So we got lights, we have a small layer of rocks with both lights on. It's gonna look like this. The fan, I have put it over the display port. Should be in one of its hotter situations, if you will. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna take a quick I'm using this thing here, we got 81 degrees, the processor. Some of you might be like, why don't you just submerge the uh, the lights first and see if those still run, <laughs> right? Maybe I will, maybe I'll just start out with only pouring it on the, um, on the bottom. Okay. So we've started the process. Let's go ahead and plug in the lights and see if those work. Okay, the lights still work. Let's plug in both of the lights for this. And then let's continue pouring. And that, my friends, is just about a gallon of mineral oil. It's running. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you see the fan running? It's moving in there. And there you have it. It's running. 
we got to pair this up. There we go. We're paired. All right. Ouch. All right, there you have it. We got ourselves a little track mode here. Motion blue image running on the Pi mineral oil build with the fan. Um, how I ended up doing it was you can see I've drilled holes for my fishing wire and the fishing wire is held up by tape right now so I can move it around if I want to. It's kind of like, um, you can see the fishing wire there. I have one in each hole. Do know that the HDMI cable will get in the way and that actually dictates a lot of which direction the Pi will um, fit in. There you go, a side view. Pretty cool, right? LEDs on the bottom. We have the LED on the top. So it's all the way full of oil. Took about a gallon. Uh, how much did this cost me? Uh, $3 for the fish tank at the thrift store. Uh, it came with rocks. The LED strips I had laying around for my bar top build. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Um, and then I used an old power adapter from one of my old routers that I'm no longer using. So if you were to buy all that stuff new, maybe 15, 20 bucks for the lights. There's an LED already built into here. And then you have the Pi, and then the fan is like $3. And then the Pi Canna kit was $40. So uh, I don't know, that adds up to around 50 or 60 bucks for this whole entire setup. It's a cool little thrift market find. I now have a mineral oil Pi. Uh, some of you are wondering like, why the hell is this thing not crashing it? You can see the green lights blinking on the Pi there. It's definitely running right now. See those green lights? That Pi is on and running. That fan is on and running and it's right there. This is there. This is shooting up there through that HDMI cable over there. Some common questions on this. It, they, a lot of people say, well, um, you know, it does this actually keep it cooler. Um, let's see, this has been on for a while now. The other one was around 80 degrees. So let's go ahead and we're using this little thermometer here. I'm getting 74 now, 75. So it took a whole six degrees off. It did, it took six whole degrees off. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I don't know if you can see that, I'm getting 75 right now on all the different parts. 75, 75, 75, 75, 75. Where I was getting 80 and 81s all day the other way. So it is cooler, it is gonna keep it cooler, and it just looks really cool. I mean, you're doing this because it just looks cool. Um, so what are the downsizes? Will it, a lot, some people say, oh, it's gonna rust. You're gonna get all this rusty stuff. Nope, not the case. It's been de debunked. Uh, you can read online, everyone says you can't. The only issue this is gonna have, potentially, is there's something called the siphon effect. That because these are like the HDMI and the power wire, because they're all individual wires inside there, they'll act like little um, siphons. And just like if you were to siphon gas, over time the gas goes back through the line. So I might actually get oil coming out into the lines and then coming out the back side of the monitor eventually. That is a possibility. My other thing I was thinking about doing is maybe putting like an air gap, like cutting open the wires and cutting the shielding so it won't do that. But I kind of want to experience it myself and see if it actually does have a siphon effect or not But people say that the mineral oil does kind of start to reduce down over time because it's being siphoned out So that is the only disadvantage in my mind. I mean the other disadvantage is if this tips over It's gonna be one hell of a mess or if it starts to leak one hell of a mess One other thing I've heard is that because the fan is now in oil it has to work much harder to spin uh, I don't think that's the case. Everything I read said that's not the case. They still run fine, no problems. I'll find out myself, but these are really cheap, small fans, so it's not really a big deal to me. So there are those aspects of it, but look how cool it is. Look how cool it is. So with that, like this video, give it a little thumbs up. This was a cool little project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna build your own, I'll put links in the description for parts. If you have any questions, please comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I got lots of cool videos already on things like this, pie, all sorts of cool stuff. So check those out if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.